Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collaboration video. I'm doing a collaboration video with a wonderful YouTube friend. Her name is Vivian Canali. If you don't know her channel, I will link her channel in my description box. Please check it out. She has a wonderful topic in her channel, everything related to the luxury handbags. You will definitely love her channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about five design handbags that I would not buy if I could start over. They are from Chanel, Louis Vuitton, LMA, and Prada. I want to share with you my experience. I think it will help you if you are thinking to buy those handbags. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first handbag I picked is from Hermes that I purchased last year. This is a Hermes Picton in the size 18. I think I made a mistake. I should order size 22. At that time, I only watch the video about the size 18 because I'm so sure I want to buy the 18. I don't think to watch the next size how people review it plus I don't really try in person so I purchased this one and I also ordered the bag organizer. Oh my goodness this is another mistake. This bag once you put the bag organizer forget about it. This bag is totally not good. I will show you how it look like. So once I put the bag organized, the key is gonna be like this. This bag is not very deep and like in and out is really convenient. But what I try to say it's not safe. If you if you put this key there, I don't really like the way it is. So if you use the bag organizer, please leave a comment below. Let me know how you feel. The handle is very short. I do have a video how to you know wear as a shoulder bag so you can check out. I will link the video in my description box as well. But still you know this bag is just not very practical. I really should consider order the next size 22. If you are thinking to buy this bag, try it in person. Try which size you feel more comfortable or practical. Say so this is the first one that I picked. Moving on the next one that I picked is from Louis Vuitton. That is the Louis Vuitton Cooney in the MM size. I bought this bag many years ago when I was in Spain. The reason I purchased this bag is because I saw one of my co-workers has this bag. She has a size BB with a red color. When I first see this bag, I just fell in love. Then I rarely reach this bag. This is a very, very formal bag. The size is big. If the size is small, you may be able to use it as an evening bag. But for the everyday bag, I don't think this bag is very comfortable to use because it's too formal. It comes with the strap. This strap is very short so we use it as a shoulder bag. It has the two pockets and also here has the one zipper compartment and the big compartment. It can fit a lot but this bag is a very heavy bag so if you roll everything in the maximum it's a way too heavy. I will choose a more practical bag, not that heavy, not that formal. Even though my lifestyle is kind of formal, my hand is so sore when I'm holding this bag. But uh, I think it's just a little bit too much for me. So if I want to sell this bag, as you guys know, Louis Vuitton leather bag doesn't have very good resale value, especially for the large bag. For example, this one. If this is a BB, I may able to sell. I will not lose too much money. But this is another lesson learned. You know, I doesn't really think too much. Just see, oh, other people has it. It's so nice. I just want to have it. And plus, I bought the big size. It is the trend that a small bag has a more good resale value than the bigger one. Just like Louis Vuitton Capuchin uh, BB compared with the Capuchin MM. Capuchin MM doesn't have good resale value but the Capuchin BB has it. Same as the Lady Dior bag. Lady Dior large and the medium has very low resale value but it Lady Dior's small size and mini size has very good resale value. So the trends like that, the, the bigger the resale value is worse. When I purchase that, I don't ask a question to myself why I purchased this bag. What is this bag for? I'm planning to use it every day. So those questions I don't ask myself. So if I can sell it over, 
this bag will never be my collection. So this is the second piece I pick. Moving on, next one is from Chanel. That is the Chanel Grand Shopping Tote. This is my first Chanel bag. It has a sentimental value. I always remember the day I purchased this bag. I was so happy. That was 10 years ago I purchased this bag. That time I just want to start Chanel collection. So I was looking at a boutique and I want to buy a Chanel bag. Honestly, that time I don't have any plan. I just want a Chanel bag. I want to have the cheapest Chanel bag. So I picked this one. That time this one cost 2900 and now it's already discontinued. 10 years, as you can see, this bag still keep in the good condition. I don't really use much. only use a couple of times. First of all, I don't like the strap. And the second, very heavy, heavy bag. And once I load everything, it's even heavy. So that's the reason I don't use so this is another that mistake I made it. Of course, 10 years ago, doesn't have a social media like right now. I can check the Instagram. I can ask anyone in Instagram or I can check the YouTube. Now, I do love this bag. When the first I purchased, I was so happy because it's my first bag. And I know people still love this bag. A lot of people still have this bag, but I think it's not really good for me. Three years ago, I tried to sell this bag and then I already lost more than one thousand dollars those handbags that are still in my collection because I just don't feel like to sell this cannot justify the price so that's the reason I still have this bag but if I could start over again this is not gonna be in my collection moving on the next one is this one this is from Prada. I purchased this bag many years ago. I don't even know this bag or what they call. And at that time, I started with the Prada bag. They are all Safiana leather. And in here, I just wanted to tell you guys, I think Prada doesn't have a good quality of the Safiana leather. Those leather, the four corners, you know, so easy to got a scuffed. And so quick has showing the wear and the tear so i also my uh product bag but i still have this one with me and this was the last purchase from product bag after i realized the safiana leather is not good quality so i start to purchase a pebble leather like this leather is a very very durable when I purchased this one, the first year I didn't enjoy to wear, so whole year I, I'm wearing this. So I do show some like wear and tear. That time I paid $1,400 for this bag and right now I try to sell, they gave me like $400 something. I'm like, what? Oh, that much money, i rather to keep it. So I still keep this bag in my collection. Right now, a lot of the website has a product bag on sale. Which is Lulala. They always have sales for the Prada bag. They are at least like 30%. If you are thinking to buy the Prada bag, please do not pay the retail price. They are very pricey and their resale value is so bad. And you can see, go to the pre love market, you will see how much the Prada bag they are selling. Original price is so expensive, but when they are in the pre love market, they are so so cheap so you can imagine the owner they sell the bag to the pre love market how much money they're gonna lose so that's the thing i still holding this bag i don't want to sell for four hundred dollars i just cannot adjust it to the price tag of the resale value so that's the reason i still holding i bring out this one just to let you guys know uh there's a lot of website on sale for the product bag so you don't pay the retail price you can save a lot of lot of money the other thing of this bag is so so heavy so because it's a big bag once you put it things oh my goodness this is gonna kill me Right now, I don't know. I'm getting old. I can not carry 10 pounds bag with me every single day. So that's the one that I, if I can start over, this one Prada bag is never going to be my collection. The last one I want to share with you is already left in my collection. That is the Chanel Deville Toe. This bag I love the most. I purchased and the next day i start to use this bag it is so lightweight and it's big 
but it's so light. I feel so comfortable to use. However, after three months, this bag is showing the wear and the tear on the corner, on the back, everywhere. So I will insert some pictures so you can take a look at this bag, the wear and the tear on the corner. Uh, now bag that I made by Fabric, I don't feel it worth purchase. I think they are wearing the tear showing so quick. If you really like this type of the toe, buy the light color because the wear and the tear won't show so obviously. The one I have is a denim and it's like a dark blue. So once the wear and the tear showing, you can see so obviously the white stuff is uh, popping up. That's the problem of this bag. I love this bag so much. I did think to repurchase with a light color, but I also worry about the dust or color transfer. If you really think to buy this bag, I'm telling you, it is very comfortable to wear. I love it, but you have to think the wear and the tear showing so quick. If otherwise, you know, just think over, I think it still costs over $3,000. It's not worth to purchase, rather to purchase as a leather material instead of the fabric. That if I can start over, I will never think to purchase this bag. When when I sold to Fashion File, I also lost uh, like $900 from retail price. Even though I have some wear and tear on the corner, but the hardware still have the plastic protectors. They know this bag is still very new, so that's why I lost not over $1,000. So, so that's all about today's video. Thank you so much Vivian for doing this collaboration video. I really have a lot of fun to do it. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.